Hello everyone, welcome in Cool IT Help and guys in this video tutorial you will learn to install SQLite browser for Mac OS X. Let's get started. Guys, first open your favorite browser and uh, go to the description and there you will get a this download link. So just copy this link from the description and come here in uh, this Chrome browser and uh, paste it here in the address bar press enter and guys you will be redirected to the official download page for mac os x installer so guys as you can see uh, there's some description and the version we are going to install is 3.11.1 okay and uh, there's a download link on this page and uh, we have to simply click this link to download the .dmg file so I just clicked here and you can see downloading is started it is done guys uh, in your case it can take some time it depends on the internet speed so I have just pasted that DMG file in a separate folder okay now we have to just double click on this DMG file and you will see the the disk image is uh, mounted and this uh, pop-up window will appear db browser for the sqlite here we simply do the thing just drag and drop uh, this uh, database icon here in the application folder so your application will be installed inside the application folder properly and now we will check if everything is fine so this uh, db browser for sqlite will be launched okay and we will be able to uh, do some query on the database now I'm going to click on it so here we go and the application is loading right now okay and then you will see this message because this app is not downloaded from the app store so you have to uh, tell the system that this is uh, okay we can proceed so click here on the open button and the application will start loading and you can see the very first home screen of the SQLite browser so guys this is the software there you can uh, access your SQLite file so on this SQLite we have some tabs so you can see this is, there is a database structure tab so you can see the table structure uh, with the help of table name and browse data will have the uh, ability to show the data inside the table and we have the SQL tab to execute the queries now I will load one sample database here in this then I will tell you something so I'm looking for a database that I have downloaded. This is the sample database to demonstrate you. So I found this one. Click here on the open button. Now, now you can see uh, in the database structure tab, you can see all the tables which are present in the SQLite file is loaded here. And uh, by clicking on these arrow and you can expand the tree and, and you can see the column names also you can see the uh, DDL statements for the table now you can see by scrolling on right hand side so this is the great facility here okay so data structure tab that will provide you the information about the DDL of the tables and once you click on the browse data you will get one uh, drop down here and uh, the corresponding data will be displayed in the tabular format now I have selected the customers so the customer data is present here and guys one more important thing so you can edit the cell by just double click on the particular cell so inside the browse data tab the data is in editable form once you do the changes as I have done it so you have to click on the apply then you have to click on the right changes then these changes will persist in the database file so this is the another useful uh, tab so we can edit the data simply double clicking on the cell 
and we have the another tab but this is not uh, much relevant for the developer purpose right now so I'm moving on the next one which is important so here's the place you can execute the SQL queries and uh, you can look for the data you can search the data inside the SQL inside SQLite database and now I'm going to write some uh, simple query I will show you so here's the customer now I'm going to run this so guys in this way you can get the results at uh, this place and these cells are not editable you will see this data only in read only mode and if you want to make changes so you have to go in the browse data tab okay so this has a complete package to perform a CRUD operation on your SQLite database tables So guys, this is the way you can install the SQLite browser on your Mac OS X. I hope you found this video useful. Please like this video and don't forget to subscribe my channel. And guys, for now, thanks for watching. Cool IT help.